configure syslog and NTP. You will enable and use the syslog service and the NTP service so that the network administrator is able to monitor the network more effectively. Configure syslog service. Enable the syslog service. Click the syslog server. This server. Click service stop. Turn the syslog service on. Okay, here on syslog service, click here on. And move the window so you can monitor activity. Okay. Configure the intermediary devices to use syslog service. Configure R1 to send log events to the syslog server. Okay, for R1, the syslog server will be this configure on R1 command line interface. Enter, enable, configure terminal, logging, and set the IP address of the server 1001254. 1001254. Ten zero one two fifty four. Be careful. Enter. Configure S one to send log events to the syslog server and also S two. Okay, go to S one. Command line interface. Enter. Enable. Oh, uh, Control Shift six. Control Shift Six. Okay. Enable Configure Terminal. Logging. Ten zero one two fifty four. Enter. Be careful with the number. S two. This another switch. Command line interface. Enter. Enable Configure Terminal. Logging. Ten zero. 101 254 enter generate logged events change the status of interfaces to current event logs configure loopback zero interface on R1 and disable it generate log events on R1 Create loopback zero and disable it. Interface loopback zero. Enter. Change it state to up. Protocol change it state to up and disable it. Shut down. Enter. Enter. Administratively down. Protocol change state to down. Okay, click on the server. Now you can see two logs, two events. And double click here on the message to view the complete message. Double click. Okay, loop back zero, change it, state to down. Double click, loop back zero, change it, stay to administratively down. Very good. Turn off PC1 and PC2 and turn them on again. Okay, so generate uh, so generate events on S1 and generate event logs on S2. Okay, go to PC1. Okay, here on physical. Press this um, bottom. Now you can see the link is red. So the link is down and press again to turn on the PC. 
the same way with PC2. Okay, click here to turn off the PC. No, the link is down. Turn on again. Okay. Go to S1. For the red one, change it state to down, protocol down. For the internet one, up, protocol up. Click on S2. Okay. The log messages. Examine the syslog events. Look at look at the syslog events. Okay, click on the server. Now you can see more events. Okay, this is a uh, double click to view the complete message. Fast Ethernet 1, change it state to up. 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 Okay, this is the IP address of S2. This is the IP address of S1. This is the IP address of R1. Okay, very nice. Note, all of the events have been recorded. However, the timestamps are incorrect. Okay, for example, you can see uh, 1993 this year so this is incorrect you need a correct date and time and no information for the time of the switches Clear the log before proceeding to the next part. Okay, down here, clear log. Okay. Manually set switch clocks. Manually set the clocks on the switches. Manually set the clock on S1 and S2 to the current date and approximate time. An example is provided. And set the date and time. On S1, for example, enter, exit. On privilege, exit mode. Okay. Clock set. Um, 24 zero, zero. this is the day the time the month February 19 year 2023 okay very nice and the same on the another switch and privilege exit mode paste Clock set, time, month, day, year, and enable the login timestamp service on the switches. Configure S1 and S2 to send its timestamp with logs it sends to the syslog server. Okay, service timestamp. Go to S1. Global configuration mode. Configure terminal service time stamp log date time milliseconds. S2 configure terminal service time stamps log date time milliseconds. Okay. Okay, configure S1 and S2 to send 
its timestamp with the logs. Configure NTP service. Enable the NTP service. We are assuming that the NTP service is being hosted on a public internet server. Okay, on this server on internet. If the NTP server was private, authentication could also be used. On the NTP server, open the services tab of the NTP server. Okay, click here on the server, NTP server. Services. Turn the NTP service on. Go to NTP on. And note the date and time that is displayed. Look at the 31 January 2020. You can set another 2023, for example, February, and another uh, time. For example, this, okay. Automatically set the clock on the router. Set the clock on R1 to the date and time according to the NTP server. So configure R1 to use this NTP server. So R1 will use the NTP server, the public NTP server, R1. Exit um, global configuration mode NTP server 64 103 224 show clock command to view the system clock sitting. It can take time for the system clock to be updated to the time that is configured on the NTP server. Okay, and on R1, exit, and show clock, sorry, show clock, enter. Okay, it is still on 1993. Okay, uh, may take a while. Okay, try again, show clock. Okay, then wait a moment. Show clock. Okay, show clock. Show clock, the time, and date. Very nice. Also, you can see the time zone. Verify timestamp logs. Change the status of interfaces to create event logs. Re enable and disable the loopback zero interface on R1. Turn off laptops L1 and L2. Turn them on again. Okay, go to R1, configure terminal, interface, loopback zero. Uh, shut down. No, shut down. Okay, interface, loopback zero, change it, state to up. Protocol, change it, state to up. Go to the server. Here now you can see loopback zero change it state to up. 
okay change the state to up protocol state to up this is the configuration of the ntp server on r1 this is the ip address of r1 go to laptop l1 turn off now the link is down turn on click on l2 click link down click again verify the server okay one two three four these four events are for s1 stay to up stay to up down down and these are another four events for switch number two s2 okay line protocol up up down down okay very nice examine the syslog events look at the syslog events note all of the events have been recorded and the timestamps are correct it's configured okay now you can see the time 2023 february 19. these times are very good R1 uses the clock settings for the NTP server and S1 and S2 use the clock settings that you configure it manually. Okay, completion 100%. Down here 100%. Thank you very much.